everyone! So today we are now in week 7 of quarter 4 and our lesson is about experimental probability. Let's watch this. We are now in week 7 of quarter 4, which is about the experimental probability. It is Sheila's 11th birthday and she celebrates it with her friends in their subdivision. She went home with 100 pieces of sweet treats in her basket. She has 10 bubble gums, 20 mint candies, 35 strawberry candies, 25 gummy bears, and 10 coffee candies. Her sister took one from her basket. What is the chance that our sister got a bubble gum? When we are dealing with chances in math, we deal with probability. So, ito yung pinag-aaralan natin, yung, yung binigay natin sample. In the given problem, there are 100 candies in all in all, and 10 are bubble gums. Therefore, Sheila sister has 10 out of 100 chance of getting a bubble gum. So, probability natin, ito yung... Uh, we, in real life, whenever we do an experiment, two things can happen. Either the one that we expect or the one that we do not. When the result is what we expected, then it is favorable outcome. Another example, Celine tossed two dice. What is the probability of getting box cars or two sixes? As we all know, yung box or dice natin, so we have six faces yan, di ba? So... When two dice are tossed, there are 36 possible outcomes. For the favorable outcomes, there is only one possibility that two sixes will occur. So, pwede natin sabihin, probability equals favorable outcomes over total possible outcomes. So, ang favorable outcome natin is 1, then alam natin yung 36 possible outcomes is 36. So, therefore, the probability of getting box cars is only 1 over 36. Pwede natin yung sulat na 1 over 36. Let us discuss experimental probability. So, it is the ratio between the number of times the event occurs and the total number of trials. Example natin. A coin is tossed 60 times. Alam naman natin yung coin, meron yung head and tail. A head appeared 27 times. Find the experimental probability of getting heads. Yeah. So, head down 27 times. The formula, number of times that event occurs or head appeared. So, we have 27, di ba? Then, total number of trials, we have 60. Therefore, 27 over 60. Kapag 27 over 60, parang balik tayo sa fraction, kailangan natin ilowest term. So, if we are going to lowest term 27 over 60, we divide it by 3, both side, or both numerator and denominator. 27 divided by 3 equals 9, then 60 divided by 3 equals 20. Therefore, the experimental probability of getting ahead is 9 over 20. Mahalaga na dapat ang ating sagot ay nasa lowest form. Example number 2, a bag contains 10 red marbles, 8 yellow marbles, and 2 black marbles. Roma took a marble and returned it. After 10 trials, a red marble was picked 6 times. Find the experimental probability of getting a red marble. Again, the formula is number of times the red marble was picked over total number of trials. Ilan ba? A red marble na na-picked. So, we have 6. Then, meron tayong 10 trials. Ito yung 6 over 10. 6 over 10, so divisible both by 2. If we are going to divide both by 2, 6 divided by 2 equals 3. 10 divided by 2 equals 5. Therefore, the experimental probability of getting a red marble is 3 over 5 or 3 piece. Example number 3, the table below shows the results of a card experiment. Each time a card was picked, it was returned to the bag. So, ang experiment natin, we have 
the outcome and the number. Ang blue natin is 27, green is 15, red is 8. So, if you are going to divide, oh, if you are going to add or total, 7 plus 5 plus 8 equals 12 plus 8 equals 22, 4. So, ang total natin ay 50. What is the experimental probability of picking ng blue card, red card, and the green card? So, solution A tayo for the blue card. So, number of times the blue card was picked over total number of trial. So, pwede natin sabihin ang number of times the blue picked ay 27. Total number of trial, ito tinotal na natin kanina, is, which is 50. So, 27 over 50. Therefore, the experimental probability of picking a blue card is 27 over 50. How about the red card? Solution B tayo. So, number of times the red was picked over total number of trial. So, 8 lang yung red card over 50. So, 8 over 50. So, since 8 over 50 is both even numbers, pwede natin yung lowest term. So, we can divide it both by 2. 8 divided by 2 equals 4. Then, 50 divided by 2 equals 25. So, 4 and 25, wala na tayong pwede lowest term. Therefore, the experimental probability of picking a red card is 4 over 25. How about solution C, a green card? So, number of times the green was picked over total number of trial. So, 15 yung green card. Then, over 50. 15 over 50. So, since 5 and 0 ang ending number, both divisible by 5. five 15 divided by 5 equals 3. Then, 50 divided by 5 equals 10. Therefore, the experimental probability of picking a red card is 3 over 10. From our learning task 1, a die is tossed. What is the probability of getting 3, an even number, 7, an odd number, and a prime number? As we all know, uh, ang die natin or dice, meron yung 6 faces. So, ilang beses makikita natin ng 3? So, meaning, we have only 1, di ba? 1 over 6. How about even number? So, may, meron tayo 1 to 6 ang dice, di ba? Meron 2, 4, 6. So, meaning 3 on. So, 3 over 6. Lowest term natin, 1 half. Why? So, discuss natin 3 over 6, both divisible by 3. So, divide natin. 3 divided by 3 is 1. Then, 6 divided by 3 equals 2. So, 1 half. How about 7? A eh, 1 to 6 lang ang face, di ba? Nang dice. Ibig sabihin nun, the answer is 0. An odd number. Ano-ano ba yung mga odd number? So, 1, 3, and 5. So, therefore, 3 over 6 or 1 half pa rin. How about prime number? Yung prime number, di ba, yun yung ang factor is 1 in itself. So, pwede natin masabi niya ang 2, 3, and 5. O, 3 over 6 or 1 half pa rin ang sagot. Learning task 2. In the game, rock, paper, and scissors. Determine the experimental probability. In 31 tries, Ellie beat Janine 11 times. What is the probability that Janine won? So, ilan lang ba yung, ano ni Jenny? 11 over tries. So, 11 over 31. How about 60, in 60 tries, may won 20 times. What is the probab probability that may won? So, 20 over 60 yun, di ba? Or, pwede natin sabihin, one-third, lowest term. In 40 tries, Ryan won over G 10 times. What is the prob probability that G won? So, yung Ryan won uh, over G 10 times. So, kung 40 minus 10 plus 30, di ba? 30 over 40 or 3 points. So, ganun lang kasimple yung experimental probability natin. Our reference for today's week lesson is from 5 at 4E, quarter 4, week 7, and 21st century Matlitz, pages 355 to 360. Thank you for watching. Thank you, my dear Road to 2,000 subscribers. I am your teacher, Carmi. And don't forget to like and subscribe my YouTube channel. Bye!